All right, previously we finished off by covering the initial setup. In this video, we're gonna be going through the interactions so you know how to use the chart. As always, within a sample report, you already have a pre-built variation that you can explore and we're gonna actually be using the same version in this video. So to start off, let's go and start to, for example, move the visual around. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. Find a space on the chart where you're not overlapping with any items. You click, hold, and start dragging it around. This allows you to move the chart around. When you first look at it, it might not seem that important, for example, if you see all the nodes, but where this becomes powerful is when you have a lot of these nodes. Because at that point, you're gonna start to zoom in, for example, and start to fine tune that view that you have achieved within a visual. Now, the next capability you have here is a single select. In order to do that, just simply click on one of the nodes and you can see it filters out the rest of the table that I have here on the right hand side. Now, if I click on it again, what happens is I deselect it. So that also clears the filter. Another way on how you can clear the filters is if you click on a white space around the chart itself. Afterwards, there are also options on how you can multiple select. The one of them is control and click. Hold down the control key and start clicking on the items and thus selecting them and applying the filtering capability. If you wanna clear the selection, simply click on an empty space. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. So the other option of how you can select multiple items is actually by holding down the leftmost button and creating a rectangular selection. That is gonna allow you to select multiple items at the same time. Now, few other options that we have left here is also the ability to actually zoom in and out. In order to do that, it's pretty simple. You just use your mouse scroll wheel. You move it up or down and zoom in or out into the visual. Now, something that's been happening in the background, you probably noticed this, the nodes are expanding and collapsing. This is a feature because I'm using a focus node navigation experience. So with a left click on a node, I'm opening up the underlying level for it. This is a behavior that's happening by default, but you can actually also disable this behavior through the toolbar items. And for this experience, we're actually gonna go right here and click on the exploration icon. Once you click on it, you can see that I can click on the items and filter it out without actually activating any additional expansions or collapsions. All right, that's gonna be it for the interactions and I'll see you in the next video.